and that concludes our 10 startups for our wildfire pitch event. Any final thoughts coming from our judges with regard to the 10 startups? What did you see in them in terms of potential? And what can you say about the quality of our startups participating in this year's wildfire pitch event? Mr. Joe Zan, some thoughts, please. Yeah, thanks, RJ. Uh, I like the, all the presentation today, and uh, I realized that there are a lot of technology that's been developing uh, in Japan and also across Asia that can uh, potentially apply to uh, all the South Asian countries. So I think personally, I welcome all of them to explore the opportunities here. Uh, and also, they were, uh, if there is uh, any collaboration opportunities, I'm happy to uh, work together with them. Thanks so much. Hoping that they can collaborate as well with you, Mr. Joe Zhang. And moving on, Mr. Ryota Yamazaki, what are your thoughts about this year's startup pitches? Yeah, it was uh, very exciting and a good opportunity for me to participate as a judge. Um, it's interesting to see you know, all these things, different companies are addressing um, different unique uh, social issues um, in Southeast Asia. But if I only give a one feedback to them, you know, all these are six major countries in Southeast Asia has a very different um, background and social issues. So any pain points, any challenge issues are so different. So if they're targeting to enter the market, maybe uh, they may want to prioritize some um, you know, specific countries before they try to expand further across the region. So that's the feedback um, that I can give you. Again, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ryota Yamazaki, pointing out the idiosyncrasies of each of the Southeast Asian nations participating or that they want to expand to. Thank you again so much, Mr. Ryota Yamazaki. Moving on to our good friend from Indonesia, Mr. Chandra Fermanto. Chandra, what are your thoughts on the startups? Yes, uh, I would like to appreciate uh, Ignite, uh, Jetro, and also to TechShake uh, for uh, setting up a very wonderful event and then inviting uh, also really awesome uh, uh, lineup of judges. I have to say for myself as well, right? That's why. So very awesome lineup of judges, right? Uh, from all over Southeast Asia as well. So creating very good diversity, Italy. And then on top of that, I'm also very impressed with the lineup of startups. I think they they all very good. And then many of them actually have uh, expanded uh, to several uh, parts of Southeast Asia. That, that is very impressive. I've met some of them as well and then I have actually encountered and then helping them as well on the field. So hopefully then uh, I'll be able to, to rest the help as well, as well if they plan to come to Indonesia. Uh, very, very uh, happy to be able to work back with my fellow judges. Uh, let's connect again, uh, probably after the events, okay? Thank you, everyone. Thanks very much, Chandra. At least now they've got somebody that they can network with in Indonesia. And having said that, moving on uh, to Mr. Vitavin Ipanuvat from Thailand. Uh, what are your thoughts, Vitamin? Yeah, um, so as a last judge, I um, just would like to um, express our appreciation again and give a um, big thanks to um, Jetro, Ignite, and all the staff for having four of us as a judge. I believe um, all of us has pretty much enjoyed the pitch. Um, personally, on, on the pitching, um, I, I think it's a great sign to see a lot of uh, deep tech startup coming from um, coming from academic to to the real industrial usage, uh, coming out of Japan and another good development. Um, I I think all of us has been observing more in 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 more recent years is that um, even a lot of startup in Japan has gradually start to look at Southeast Asia, you know, um, more and more since the beginning stage. You know? um, so a lot of startup in Japan don't look at the local market. Um, as a single market play anymore. And I think that's a good sign, especially there's, there's still so much to do in Southeast Asia, especially with the pandemics, probably here to stay for for longer than we uh, would would have wanted. And um, technology will be will play a crucial role to um, to help all the um, you know existing pain point that's been happening um, both on in terms of safety and economy for for all the people. So looking forward to um, closer collaboration between um, everyone here and um, feel free to reach out if there's anything um, any for any one or four of us here can be of assistance. So thanks again for having us. Yeah, and looking forward to next year. And Kap and Kap, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Vitavin Ipanuvat. Of course, yes, it's great to see how Jetro is helping 
uh, Japanese uh, startups reach out to the rest of Southeast Asia. And again, thank you so much to our judges for this wildfire pitch event. Again, thank you so much, Mr. Joe Zhang. Thank you to Mr. Ryota Yamazaki. Thank you, Mr. Chandra Fermanto. And thank you so much, Mr. Vitavin Itipamnuvat. I hope I got your name correct again. Thank you so much to all the judges. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much to all the startups who participated and showcased their companies for today. We've learned so much from all of you, and it is very interesting to note how digital transformation has changed the face of business. Just reminding everyone to check out our Match Exhibitor virtual booths. All the startups in today's session have their booths in our Exhibitor virtual booth. It's a great way to meet these innovative companies and work on some business collaborations. Please also share your current experience on your social media channels. And don't forget to use our hashtag. The hashtag to use is hashtag Ignite 2021 Cyber. Again, that's hashtag Ignite 2021 Cyber when you do so. And with that, this ends our pitching competition. Thank you again to all the startups and thank you so much to all the judges for your time and your very insightful questions. With that, please watch out for our panel discussion on digital transformation. We would like to thank our partner for today, our good friends, Japan External Trade Organization. We'll be back after a quick break.